Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Shopify and ShipStation. So the use case here is, whenever an order is placed in Shopify, automatically create order in ShipStation. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Shopify is an e-commerce platform where you can set up your online store and sell your products. Whereas ShipStation is a shipping platform. So the issue here is that although Shopify and ShipStation have some native integration between them, but this integration has certain limitations. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software with the help of which you can transfer data from Shopify to ShipStation. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. So here I am at Google and now what I'm going to do is I'll go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli. And now I will hover over this product section over here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow the link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow right in your account. So now I'm going to scroll down and here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see we have so many workflows already created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow by clicking on this create workflow button. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Shopify to ship station. Now I'm going to create it. So now in this workflow, we are going to integrate Shopify with ship station. So first here in choose app, I am going to choose Shopify. Okay. So now in trigger event, according to our workflow, whenever a new order is placed in Shopify, we want to place an order in ship station as well. That is why new order here will be our trigger event. Now you can see we have various trigger events available. You can select whichever trigger event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the trigger event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. So now I'm going to click on new order because this is our trigger event over here. Now I was speaking about something called trigger event. So now you might ask me that what is this trigger event? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a new order is placed in Shopify, we want to place an order in ShipStation as well. That is why new order created in Shopify will be our trigger event, whereas new order in ShipStation will be our action event. So now after choosing the app and after choosing the trigger event, you can see a term called webhook URL over here. And you can also see a URL displayed over here. Now you might ask me that what is this URL and how is it helpful for us? Let me tell you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook URL helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So now after choosing the app and after choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application which is Shopify in our case. So now you can read the instructions written over here carefully and you can just follow them. So now I'll just copy the webhook URL from here. I'll go to my Shopify account. I have already logged into my Shopify account and here I am going to click on settings. Okay, now in settings, you can see this notifications option. So now I'll just scroll down and when you come down here, you can see an option of webhooks. So I'm going to create a webhook over here. So event is going to be order creation. That is this one. Format will remain JSON URL. So here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from Pabli Connect. So I'll just paste it. Save webhook. Okay. So we have successfully saved our webhook. Now I'll just go back to Pabli Connect. 
So now it is time to click on capture webhook response and now it is waiting for webhook response. That means it is time to go and create a new order in Shopify. So I'll first go to my Shopify and here you can see online store. So I'm just going to open our online store in a new tab. Okay, so we have our store over here. I'll just go to my catalog and I'm going to choose a product. Okay, so I'm going to buy this laptop. Buy it now. So email is going to be fiona98 at the rate gmail.com. First name Fiona Johnson. PIN code, phone number, continue to shipping, okay so continue to payment. So here you have to enter the credit card details, I will just enter the details. Okay so you can see we have successfully placed an order for Fiona. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and check if Pabli Connect has captured this data or not. Okay, it is waiting. Okay, so you can see Pabli Connect has captured the data. We have our webhook response over here. You can see the email, the created date, updated date and time, the price is here. If you come down, let us see if we have the product details or not. Okay, email is here. Okay. Product detail is also here. Okay. So now I'm just going to click on save. Okay. So now we have successfully finished our first step integration that is integration of Shopify and Pabli Connect. Now let's begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate ShipStation and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And here I am going to choose ShipStation. And now an action event according to our workflow, whenever an order is placed in Shopify, we want to create an order in ShipStation. That is why create order will be our action event. Now I'm going to click on connect with ShipStation. Okay. So now under credentials, you have two options. If you have any existing credentials, you can directly go ahead with it. But if you want, you can also go for new credentials and you can fill your API key and API secret key. So here I don't have any existing credentials. That is why I am going to go and get my API key and API secret key. So in order to get your API key and API secret key, you can read the instructions. So I'm just going to follow it. So I'll first go to my ShipStation. I've already logged into my ShipStation account. Here I'm going to click on my settings. Okay, so now I'm going to click on account. And here you can see API settings. Okay, so here you can see we have the API key and API secret key over here. So now I'm just going to copy this API key from here. I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it. Now I'll go back. Now I'm going to copy my API secret. Go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so now API key and API secret are going to help us to build a connection between ShipStation and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now here you can see we have some field over here and we have to fill the information according to our webhook response. We just have to map these details. So first order. So here I'm just going to map the order number. We have order number that is 244. Let's just cross check. Okay, 1244. Okay, order status. I'll keep it as shipped. Order date. We have the created date. Buyer name. Let's map the name. Fiona Johnson. Buyer email. Okay, recipient name, I'll again put Fiona Johnson. Okay, we have the address. City. Postal code, that is zip. Okay, save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have got the API response. That means we have successfully finished the integration of Shopify and ShipStation. I'll just click on save. Okay, so now let's go to ShipStation and check if we have placed an order over there or not. 
So I'll go to my ShipStation account and here I'm going to click on orders. Let us check manual orders. Shipped. So you can see 1244. I'm just going to open it. Okay, so you can see we have the details over here. Ship to Fiona Johnson, Narada Colony. Okay, fine. We have the email, the name. Okay, we have the other details also. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'll go back to my Shopify account and I'm going to do one more order over here. So this time I'm going to buy this camera. Buy it now. Email, I'll just map this email. Okay, fine. Continue to shipping. Continue to payment. Okay, so here I'll just enter the credit card details. Okay, so you can see we have successfully placed an order for Philip over here. So now let us go back to ShipStation and check if an order is placed from there or not. So I'll go to ShipStation. I'm just going to refresh this page. You can see we have one more order, 1245. Let us open it. I'll scroll up. You can see Philip Kotler. You can see philip0023 at the gmail.com. The address is here. Order date is here. If you come down, you can see the other details also. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example. I'll just minimize all this. Okay, so in our example, what has happened is first the information came from Shopify to Pabli Connect. Then from Pabli Connect, the information went to ShipStation. So now every time a new order is created in Shopify, automatically a new order will be created in ShipStation as well. So we have successfully finished the integration of Shopify and ShipStation using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.